The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome. Today we are going to talk about electrolytes. Why are these important? See, electrolytes are basically minerals which which are there in your body which have a electrical charge and they are immensely important for your body's normal functioning right these electrolytes are present in your blood in your urine in your body tissues as well as every single fluid in your body and these are important because your body functions because of electrolytes right it basically determines the amount of water which will be there in your body they will balance the balance of water fluid balance is determined by the electrolytes the ph acid base balance the ph of your body is determined of your blood of your urine is determined by the electrolytes uh, whether or not nutrients will enter into the cells right they basically electrolytes make these nutrients enter in the cells they make the waste products get out of the cells so electrolytes are so important every single cell in your body needs electrolytes and they are important to make sure that all the nerves all the muscles your heart your brain keeps on working properly if you don't have electrolytes in control in balance then there can be very severe consequences so what are these electrolytes these are sodium yes sodium chloride normal salt sodium chloride this calcium potassium uh, phosphate and magnesium these are all electrolytes so you need these electrolytes in very less amount but they are needed many times because of some or some or the other reasons you can have deficiency or excess of these electrolyte excess or deficiency both can cause severe problems right if you have excess of these electrolytes number one problems which can happen is the fluid imbalance right obviously if you have it very low then you can have something called as dehydration right and if you have it very too much then overhydration can happen because electrolytes need water to balance and dilute it dilute the concentration it can, your body cannot have a lot of electrolytes undiluted so your body will save uh, save and store and store more water then there are certain things which can lead to electrolyte imbalance in your body like vomiting diarrhea some medical conditions sweating over sweating these all things in the, these are problems you lose water as well as electrolytes right and there sometimes electrolyte loss is more uh, one of the electrolytes is lost more then as compared to others and therefore you land up in that particular electrolyte deficiency right be like for example vomiting you can lose a lot of potassium and uh, that's why you have to understand and when you lose a lot of potassium or you have a lot of potassium in excess then your heart can actually uh, there can be problems with the rhythm of the heart your heart can actually stop exactly and if you have problems in sodium balance then your brain can actually go dehydrated it can cause uh, serious problems in your consciousness even you can go in coma if your brain is dehydrated we have already made a video on sodium chloride and uh, dehydration that for that matter so that's where it is plus some medicines they alter the electrolyte imbalance plus if you have a liver kidney disorder that can also upset your water balance so all these things can lead to problems in electrolyte and water fluid imbalance what can you do you if you have these kind of imbalance obviously you need to get them checked regularly and that these are also checked in the routine health checkups sodium potassium is a must obviously that are, those are more important more dangerous uh, magnesium calcium etc these are important for your muscular muscular uh, must because of your for your muscles for your nerves so if you have muscles or nerve pain then these are also supposed to be checked and uh, if you have problems with the with the balance then obviously uh, balance has to be again restored and you have to find out the so basic reason of it and that identified reason must be corrected may it be vomiting or liver disorder or kidney disorder or diarrhea or sweating whatever it is right or some medicine so you have to find out the reason and take care of it that's why uh, and that's how electrolytes are important 
so these are all about in electrolytes i hope you like the video give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family and i'll be back with another video on fluid imbalance dedicated and water logging water fluid overload water weight etc etc stay tuned